I want to set the scene for this conference in the next 10 minutes by talking about what I call the Humanity Plus Agenda. An agenda is when you try to define priorities. And it is my belief that society as a whole is not yet focusing on some of the most important priorities for the coming decade. I want to talk about priorities. I'm not just talking about something for governments to do. I'm talking about uh, things for universities to do, for institutions and industry to do, and indeed for individuals to do. And I believe they're things that deserve more attention, analysis, and yes, more resourcing and funding. And they're all to do with solving some of the major challenges, threats, and risks that we face as individuals, as a society, and indeed our civilization. And I won't list in any detail the set of risks that we're facing, but it is quite clear that we can't keep living the way we're doing. It's not sustainable. We'll have uh, ecological, environmental, huge issues. We'll have issues with the economy, and there are issues with uh, ongoing terrorism, uh, which could get worse as more extreme terrorists in due course could get their hands on extreme weapons of destruction. We can't keep living as we are. Some people say we have to go back and live a simpler life. I believe instead that the best way is to go forwards. And the most important thing that can make the biggest difference for all of us, that we'll have a fulfilling individual life and fulfilling society in the future, is if we can embrace and do more with technology. Technology which has changed the world in the last, what, 25 years with the internet, with the PCs everywhere, with smartphones, with satellite navigation systems, and goodness knows what else, that improvements in the last 25 years are as nothing compared to what we expect in the next 25 years, and indeed possibly just the next 10 years. There is so much more that technology could do as we move from smartphones to smart things and to smart blood cells and so forth. Now, some people don't like the idea of emphasizing technology. They say, oh, that's just a technical fix. You know, it's, it just gives us gadgets, but it's not addressing the real human issues. And I am sympathetic to that point of view. I'm not interested just in gadgets, but I do believe that technology can actually improve us in many ways. It can help to make education better. And when I talk about education, I'm not just meaning uh, a few years it's, uh, in uh, college or in high school. I mean continuous learning as we all get smarter and as we all get uh, all the other kinds of intelligence too, better social uh, intelligence, emotional intelligence. And there's a two-way link here. As education gets better, technology will be get better. There's another link with health, whereby we will become stronger and more robust and uh, indeed uh, kinder, more vibrant. And this links again to changes in society because we will not actually get the kinds of changes in technology that many of us hope for unless society makes a better environment for doing some of the innovation and the experimentation that's needed. And all of this adds up, as I said, to an enhanced human experience boosting human potential rather than uh, diminishing it. So that is my view as to the priorities, in very big terms, uh, the priorities that society should have. Yes, society is spending money on all these things, but I don't think we're doing it in a sufficiently smart and focused way. So I talk about instead of health, we should have health plus, more emphasis on people living not just well, but better than well, emphasis on improved education where people indeed are gaining skills uh, and becoming smarter through all kinds of augmentation, improved technology, improved society, leading to, indeed, humanity plus. And without uh, having the time to go through the details, I have spelt out uh, elsewhere a list of 20 priorities which fit under these five headings. Now, in the talks ahead, we will have some uh, of the speakers addressing in more details some of these things. So, Anders Sandberg, who will be on later this morning, will talk about cognitive enhancement uh, as a means to improve, become smarter. Uh, Rachel Armstrong will cover, amongst other things, synthetic biology, which is how we can program uh, things on the organic level, not just in the silicon level, and the possible uh, big consequences. Uh, Aubrey de Grey, after lunch, will be talking about anti-aging treatments. This is again in the theme of uh, Health Plus. And I do have one recommendation for you. Don't take too long of a lunch. Be back here in time for that talk. You will enjoy that.
moving forwards. We have a talk by David Pierce, which I can't quite easily characterize, but it is about humans being concerned about more things, a bigger vision than we've had historically, a vision indeed that we should obliterate suffering, not just for humans, but for all of the animal kingdom. 